Hi everyone, this is Neil Reiterter, consultant, audiologist and director of ClueX. Thank you for joining me in my latest video using the iClearscope Endoscope. So today's my first day back in clinic upon my return from Australia. And it's, uh, it's going to be a really hectic next couple of weeks. Um, obviously it's been a bit of a backlog, so just uh, thankfully a lot of my patients waited for me. Um, so it's going to be really, really busy, but... Um, I decided to use the endoscope today because I've not really used the endoscope for a while because whilst I was out in Australia, I've been using the wax scope. And so this is the patient who actually attended reporting his right ear to be uh, the one that's more effective. And he did have wax in his right ear and I'll, I'll upload that in a separate video. But um, in actual fact, the left ear had more wax um, in situ. So this is fully occluding. Now, quite an interesting case because this patient uh, she came early on in the year, I think it was in January, um, prior to visit to myself, he went to uh, a local clinic who said that they've got most of the wax out um, and the remaining wax will naturally migrate, but the ear was chock-a-block and the patient themselves felt that the ears weren't fully cleaned and when they attended, obviously, because we've got a camera, uh, we showed them the camera and so when he booked in today, he said, I wasn't going to go anywhere else, I'm straight to you. Um, and I've just put some oil in here just to loosen some of this wax. He has got quite sensitive ears. Um, so just going to be careful around uh, near adjacent to the canal wall. Um, it's a bit matted. Now, it's quite a lot of wax to um, re-secrete itself within the last nine months. Um, now, one of the questions I typically get asked in clinic is how often should I come? And, the answer to that is whenever you've got ear symptoms, um, but on average, if you are what I, we term a waxy person, now, what I mean by that is that we all, to some degree, produce earwax, but in the majority of us, the wax naturally migrates out of the ear on its own accord um, due to the lateral epithelial migration of skin, which acts as a conveyor belt. So the skin that lines the ear canal and the eardrum, it moves sideways um, towards the entrance and then when it's near the entrance, aided by jaw movements, the skin uh, flakes away and it should exit the ear. Um, and sitting on the surface of that skin is obviously the wax. Um, so if, if about 90 to 92, 93% of us, wax is not an issue. But the remainder, so 5 to 8%, it can become an issue. And I would, I would estimate, I would guesstimate, probably 12 to 18 months on average. There's a bit of skin left at the bottom. I'm just going to leave that. As I said, this patient's quite sensitive. I don't want to go too close there, and especially with the skin because it can clarify in there and we're peeling off the canal wall. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care. Keep well and speak soon. Bye.